Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for all the love you've given me over these past few months. It feels like I just started this YouTube journey to kind of see what's going on and uh, received a lot of love, met a lot of really cool people that uh, I hit up on social media now and just talk about guns and their experiences and my experiences and things like that. Today I want to talk to you about a Magwell and magazine extensions for an M&P 2.0 Performance Center. This is their longer variant. Make sure it's clear. It's good to go. I got a Terran Tactical Magwell here. Terran Tactical Magwell and I have three Terran Tactical base pads here for 9mm. <clears throat> With that being said, Let's just get into it, talk about my thoughts, talk about what I think, and if I would do it all over again. First off, let's talk about the Magwell itself. Very, very easy to install. They cost $95 from Terran Tactical. Their shipping is pretty good. You get it in about three to four days to a week, depending on what day you order it. Got this in the mail, <clears throat> and let me just stop you right there, or stop myself right there. The main reason I bought this Magwell is because I was under the impression, I didn't really see anywhere on their website that you couldn't use your factory base pads. I was really trying to find a Magwell that would allow me to use my factory base pads in my magazine, because in my mind, if I get a Magwell that allows that, then it's a lot cheaper. I don't really necessarily need the extensions. So I put this on and I went ahead and threw the magazine in there. None of my magazines fit. So I had two Smith & Wesson OEM mags that came with the gun. I also had one Pro Mag that I ordered because for some reason Smith & Wesson only come with two magazines and I wanted three. So I ordered the cheaper one from Pro Mag Warehouse. I was kind of upset about it. So I just said, screw it. I'm gonna order the Terran Tactical base pads. Now let's talk about the base pads. So these are about $30 a piece. This one particular one right here is a plus four extension for my nine millimeter Smith & Wesson. The same size for a 40 is gonna get you plus two extension and they have all different colors, red, whatever your little heart desires. So I went ahead and picked up three black ones. <laughs> they also have larger ones that are plus six extension for nine millimeter and plus five for 40. Don't really need that. The main reason I bought these is because I wanted to make the Magwell run. <clears throat> Pretty easy to install this stuff. There's a set screw in the back. I don't know if you can see. All you need to do, <clears throat> if, you've, if you're familiar with these M&Ps, I can throw up a, a picture here in a minute. They have this little tool in the back and basically you rotate it counterclockwise, I believe, and you can pull the grip module off here in the back and then you no longer need that piece. The Magwell itself comes with a metal piece that goes into where that tool used to be, twist it in just like you normally would, and then you just go ahead and slide this over top of it. I will say that the Magwell is kind of a pain in the butt to get on because they, they want it to fit extremely tight, and I was really nervous about like, you know, breaking something or just, you know, screwing up my weapon. So I was very careful with it, made sure I got it over that, and then you basically just get this set screw in the back and that's actually gonna give you enough retention on the Magwell to keep it in place. Pretty simple design. As far as the magazine extensions, really, really simple. If you've ever taken a magazine apart, you just kind of punch in the piece on the bottom of the base pad and you can slide it right out. Then the spring, the follower, everything just kind of comes out the bottom. When you get these, you only get the extension piece for as, if you got the larger one, they would give you a new spring. So you're gonna use your stock springs for this. When you Put this back on, it's pretty much the same way. You're gonna slide your follower back in there, slide your spring back in there, slide this over top. You have a set screw on the side that is going to allow this metal rod right here to go up and down that kind of retains the actual extension onto the magazine. And then once that's up, you pretty much just take your little Allen key and tighten it down. Just make sure you don't over tighten it. <clears throat> now, one thing about these magazine extensions that I haven't talked about yet is, like I said, I have two Smith & Wesson OEM mags with my pro mag they appear to be exactly the same with everything the base pad was just a little bit different and i'll show you that this was the base pad on the pro mag and this was the base pad on the smith and wesson uh, oem mag 
So they were slightly different base pads. I noticed that when I threw this Terran Tactical extension on my Pro Mag, it's got some substantial amount of play in it, left and right. I don't think I can get it off. So testing is gonna tell if this mag is actually even capable of running their extension. I'll probably end up buying another Smith & Wesson OEM mag because I don't like stuff like that. It probably says somewhere on their website where you're only supposed to use with OEM mags. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Knowing what I know now about you know spending the, the hard-earned cash on this stuff, like I said way earlier in the video, is I wanted a mag well that you know you didn't have to get the proprietary base pads in, but every single one of them required the proprietary base pads. And I just feel like that kind of adds unnecessary expenses to maybe someone on a budget. And I understand budget is a relative term, but the mag, like again, the magwell is $95. These are $30 a piece times three, 90. So you're looking at almost $200 to get this magazine well and extensions to actually get it to run correctly. Cause again, it won't run with these stock base pads. <clears throat> Do I think it's worth it? <clears throat> Time will tell. I think, I think it feels a lot better. I think it's pretty awesome. At the end of the day, it would have been nice not to spend $200 on, you know, that minor of an upgrade or that small of a job, but it is what it is. I'm overall satisfied with the look, the aesthetics, the feel, the little bit of weight that it gives the gun <clears throat> with the magazine in there. I think it looks pretty awesome. Again, I don't necessarily need more than 17 rounds, but it is what it is, and this is the smallest extension I could get to run with this. If you all know anything or have Terran Tactical mag extensions on either your Glocks or MMPs or any other gun, drop something down in the comments and talk about it and let me know your thoughts on those. The only one I have experience with is the one on my MMP. <clears throat> but if you all like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace.